What's going on guys, it's with Moose here, and I'm bringing you a new series called Reliving the Classics. Uh, it's um, going to be a Call of Duty series, where I go back and play the old games, um, specifically Call of Duty 4, World at War, Modern Warfare 2, and Black Ops, and then once Black Ops 2 comes out, I guess Modern Warfare 3 will be thrown into the mix, but that's kind of far off, so don't worry about it. Um, yep, here I'm using the M16 on Call of Duty 4 with the red dot sight. This is definitely the best gun in the game, no doubt about it. Um, <laughs> Most overpowered by far, but I mean, hey, it's pretty good gameplay. I think you get hit three helicopters and have a pretty good score at the end. So, besides that, I want to give you a brief overview of my history with the Call of Duty series. So, you know, I've always loved Call of Duty since it really came out for consoles. Since I wasn't, I'm, I'm wow, <laughs> I'm not a PC guy, so, so I didn't play the the first one or Call of Duty Classic. Now, I guess, but. I did play Call of Duty 2 right when I got Xbox 360. It was probably one of the first games I got. I did not have Xbox Live at the time, so I never really played that one online. I have played it since because I still have it, but not really meaningfully. Um, then, for some reason, I didn't get Call of Duty 3. I, I just didn't. <laughs> I never got it. Um, and then last year, one of my friends you know, loaned it to me, so I got to play the campaign and stuff, but nobody was online <laughs> for that game. I think there was about 10 people playing, so I could never find a full game. So then this game, Call of Duty 4, came out, and everybody remembers when this thing uh, hit the shelves. Uh, who didn't buy this game, you know? Uh, I got this game. I still didn't have Xbox Live at the point at this point when, when the game came out, so I didn't actually get to play it very often. Or, I mean, I got to play it, but... Once you beat the campaign, what else is there really to do in Call of Duty 4? Not much. But, and then, so we're going to move on to World at War. I got World at War for Christmas, the year it came out. And then, the next day, I went and bought Xbox Live, because I felt that it was the time to get it, you know. So, I got Xbox Live, and I think I played World at War Online all day, and I was instantly in love with it. I love World at War Online still to this day, and, um... You know, I mean, it, it's just great. But also, I still had Call of Duty 4, so I played Call of Duty 4 and World of War a lot, um, like mutually. But I, I did play World of War a little bit more just because it's the first game that I played online. Then Modern Warfare 2, and I love Modern Warfare 2. I did. I loved it until about March, so probably six months or no, five, four or five months after it came out. And then everything just started to, you know, pile up, like the noob tubes, the uh, all the glitches, at, like the javelin glitch. I know that was already patched by then, but like care package glitch, stuff like that. It just all piled up into a point where I just couldn't play it anymore, and I had to go back to World of War and Call of Duty 4. And I don't know, Modern Warfare 2 was an alright game, and it could have been great, but they really messed up. Oh, look, look at my teammate, save me here. Thank you. Um, but you know, whatever. Modern Warfare 2 was alright. So then, going on to Black Ops. Um, in Black Ops, I really, really like the game. I think I have something like 16 days played in, in Black Ops, which is by far the most for me in any Call of Duty game played. Um, and, I don't know, I love the game. The only bad thing really about Black Ops is the sniping was pretty difficult. See, I actually do like sniping in Black Ops, but I don't like quick scoping. That's kind of like the difference. And the quick scoping was just ridiculously hard to do. Um, so I mean, it kind of limited what you could use. So I mean, I do have a lot of kills with the 74U and the FAMAS. I'm not gonna lie about it, but I mean, hey. Uh, now moving on to Modern Warfare 3, and I mean, Modern Warfare 3 is good. I don't wanna don't wanna say it's bad. It's definitely better than Modern Warfare 2, but I don't think anybody anything can live up to Call of Duty 4 or World at War in my mind. Those are definitely my favorites. Black Ops was also up there, but since, I mean, it's kind of just a copy, as always. I mean, like, Treyarch did put a, a lot of extra stuff in it, which, I mean, it makes it fun, but whatever. Moving on to Call of Duty 4 now, the, the actual video, <laughs> um, or the uh, game for this, this, uh, this episode's topic. I'm going to break down my Call of Duty 4 stats, and then we'll get into a little bit about the gameplay. So I have a little bit under 8 days played in Call of Duty 4. I am 10th prestige level 55 with minimal boosting I guess you could call it. <laughs> I didn't really boost that often. I mean I did when I was like first getting the game because I wasn't very good. But I mean I have gotten a lot better since. And yeah so now moving on to kill death ratio. I have 
a 1.31 kill death ratio. So I mean, I think that's pretty good for somebody that you know started off with probably like a 0.7 in their first few games. But you know, I have gotten a lot better, and I think my best kill streak is 29. So you know, a good a good best kill streak in my mind. But now we'll move on to win loss ratio, and it is pretty low since I didn't really play with that many friends in Call of Duty 4. I played with m maybe two or three, but we were never really going for wins or anything like that. It was pretty much just to have fun. So I had a .65 win-loss ratio with a 17 win streak. So I mean, not bad, but definitely not not up there with some of the some of the other commentators on YouTube that have you know, astronomical eight eight win-loss and stuff like that. Um, but right here now we're gonna move on to the gameplay. And right now I'm playing with my friend uh, 48, and I just want to win this. We're down 70 points, and we're about to triple cap them. So I'm I'm getting pretty pumped right now. We got triple cap, and now they start taking A. So, <laughs> I'm gonna have to make my way over to A, and I just picked up my third helicopter, so I, I do feel like we can definitely win this. We're gonna have a th almost unlimited helicopters for the rest of the game, just cause, I mean, I'll call him my next one, and then the game will pretty much be over after that. So, oh, that frustrated me not killing that guy. But, alright, keep moving on to A. We do have B and C, so I feel, I feel pretty good if we get A, then I feel like we can, you know, win this. Alright, here's, they're taking B, so I throw a grenade over there, but my helicopter takes him out instead. Thank God. <laughs> now I'm gonna move on to A. I'm gonna try and take this flag. I'm I'm literally screaming at people. Not screaming, but I'm yelling. You know, I'm like, come on, come on, come on, get the flag, get the flag. Because I mean, they're now at 180, we're at 123. So I mean, we're catching up, but not quick enough. You know. So cap the flag, and then I think I make a mistake here, running back here. I do get a kill right here, but I definitely feel like moving away from every single flag was not a good idea. Um, got kind of lucky that nobody started taking C or B, so I didn't have to, you know, run all the way across the map for my bad positioning. But now die there, keep moving on. Oh yeah, I did cut a few parts out of the out of the gameplay just because you know I had been dying a couple times, but you know you didn't really miss anything. <laughs> just me dying. So now they're taking a try and save it. Oh, get a hit marker. Not gonna happen. And now they have us triple capped and. Now I feel like we're definitely going to lose, but we take B back, I'm taking C, I'm yelling, I'm yelling, come on, get A, get A, get A, but that's not going to happen, and I'll get the final kill here, no final kill cam, sadly, but hey, it's Call of Duty 4, it's the classics, uh, that is Reliving the Classics, episode 1, Call of Duty 4, next episode will most likely be World at War, stay tuned for it, alright, see you guys.